welcome back to my channel it's been a it's been a month you know and uh you know i've not posted i've not posted any video but i'm back now and i want to really appreciate every one of you guys has been subscribing liking leaving comments and sharing you guys are amazing thanks a lot in this video um we're going to be looking at um, how can we deploy an xjs app um, on a cloud server so typically most people would just option to deploy uh, their app on you know vercel or netlify um, but sometimes you want a little more you know control over some resources and um, having a cloud server uh, like you know digital ocean or Linode or Google Cloud or AWS uh, gives you a lot more control over you know the packages the dependencies and all of that stuff so that's what we're going to be doing in this video in this video we're going to be using um, digital ocean but you could also use Linode or you know Google Cloud and uh, most of the processes are going to be typically the same uh, but we're going to be using digital ocean all right so let's jump into you guys and uh, just make sure that my internet is up there okay cool so obviously um let me just navigate to that okay so you want to navigate to digitalocean.com and then you're going to, you're going to be able to sign in with your github or your email or your google so here uh, I've already signed in with my Google, so I'm just going to proceed with Google. Uh, I'm already signed in. That's why it's going to take me straight to my dashboard. But if you're not signed in or it's it's your first time, it's going to ask to add your billing information. And um, no, 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 it's not what you're thinking. They're not going to charge you upfront. Actually, at the time of recording this video, they're giving you $200 in credit for 60 days. Uh, the card you're adding uh, is just for the sake of attaching your card uh, according to their documentation. And after in about a week, uh, that money will be reverted back to you. I think it's about $5 or something like that. Yeah, about $5. So yeah, the, um, once you're done with that process, I, I mean, I was able to use PayPal because using my card directly, um, I had a bit of a a glitch it had a bit of a challenge i guess it was being blocked by the bank but paypal was able to go through and um, i was able to to pull through so here we are on the dashboard the digital ocean dashboard so the first thing that you're going to be able to do here uh, is you will need to create a project if you're using digital ocean if you're using linode um, you can just create a new linode right so the first thing here we'll do is obviously let's go create an, a, a droplet a new droplet and i'm just going to keep it at that uh for our image let's use ubuntu and then for we'll just use a shared cpu here uh we'll select the most basic this should be fine this should be good to go and then um I already created uh, an SHK. Of course, if you select, you notice that this go goes away. But I'm going to walk you through how to create an SSH key. So let's go ahead and create a new SSH key there. And obviously, there will be some instructions that they'll give you here. So we'll open up our terminal. And then we'll just type SSH keygen. Okay. So, yeah, so we're just going to enter our key. I like to use the same, um, just go underscore, let's call it. Um, cloud 
right next cloud okay once you hit enter it will ask you for a passphrase just hit enter and hit, uh, hit enter again so by default um, it will create your public and private private uh, private key files in the dot ssh directory on your local machine right so we're going to use the the cut command uh, if you notice on their on their explanation here, they are saying you need to use the cut command to be able to get the uh, the public the public key we're looking for, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Just copy that. Open up our terminal. Hit uh, just paste that there, and make sure that uh, we call this next i think we called it next cloud yeah so make sure that this is correct and then you want to copy the whole thing from bottom to from up to bottom let's paste that there and we can call this new macbook right let's go ahead and add the ssh key great so there we go we have our ssh key now the next thing you want to do is obviously if you want to change the host name you can go ahead and change it but in in this case we are not going to change um we're not going to change it we'll just go ahead and create and hit create droplet so we just wait for it to be provisioned for us So right now it's provisioning. Okay, looks like it's done. What you want to do now is to go ahead and copy your IP address, get to the terminal. Just write clear, and then you'll clear that. Type ssh root add your IP address. Uh, it says, Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Just type yes. And there we go. If you see, uh, if you see this error, the permission denied there's um you will need to type the following awesome so this time we were able to log in so just do ls and you should see the files in your root directory now the next thing we are going to be doing is installing um, node.js and uh, nginx okay so that's what we're going to be doing but first of all before that let's update our packages so let's say sudo apt update and um, sudo apt upgrade y okay let's do that then it will upgrade all your packages and after that that's when now we're going to be installing node.js and nginx wait for it to finish so I'll make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can see hope you can see this um, not necessarily okay trying to yeah okay I'll just keep it there trying to make the text a little bigger Let's to figure out Yeah, okay, 
guess this is all right. So I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put the the article that I wrote on this on Medium as well. So you guys, just when you see this, just go ahead and hit, hit enter. hit enter again hit enter again okay so there we are now let's go ahead and run sudo apt install y node.js npm nginx okay let's run that enter there enter again okay and that should be good now we can check if our node is installed by running node dash dash version and then also let's check if npm is installed npm dash dash version okay nice let's let's test nginx first of all let's go sudo nginx So it says the status is running successfully. Okay, so let's go ahead and restart it. sudo service nginx restart. Okay. Okay. So that should be all right. Now, if you do ls, you should see there's no direct. There's only one directory, but let's create another one mkdir make directory we'll call our directory next js okay there we go now let's go cd into next js once we once we're here we're gonna clone our repository here so we'll do git clone um https so i'm using a project that we've uh, we've done in the past on this channel let's go ahead github dot com so the name is um my app okay so once you do that hit enter and uh, okay so so uh, the one we're cloning is this one okay so we made a mistake here all right so it's supposed to be dot git instead of hyphen all right so let's cd into my up just do ls there you can see all the files there 
right? So here now, this is where we're going to run npm install. Okay, let's start run. Let's do nano package the JSON. Let me check out something here. Okay, so that's our dev command. So let's go ahead and run. So we're gonna run npm run dev. Let's wait for it. Okay now it's running on port 3000 so now if we copy our IP address here and then check port 3000 we should have our app running on that port okay cool so there we are uh, our next JS app deployed to digital ocean